Peace. This is a meat and potato associate production So I'm myself, the Water Alchemist, and today's topic is Gnosticism and Islam. Now, we know that Islam has a connection as far as it pertains to the Abrahamic religions, but many people leave out its connection with Gnosticism, meaning to know, and Gnosticism goes way beyond so-called Jewish ethnic group. It can go back to Kemet or Tamari or Egypt and even Atlantis. So when the Gnostics had came about, you have to understand something. Their view currently is a nihilistic religion, but they possessed many truths. It's not that they're nihilistic. They were against what the world was destined to become. The world that we live in is a lot closer to the infernal realm as well as the heavenly realm. And people may say, well, how is it connected to the heavenly realm? If you read the Pentateuch or the five books of the Holy Bible, there's nothing but violence. Look around you. Violence here, violence in the infernal realm. So basically, this is a work in progress. And the Gnostics had knew that this was going to be the case so you with any religion you have to make it palatable to that generation if you don't make it like that it's not going to spread it's not going to become pervasive and to show you proof that gnosticism is connected to al-islam what's the account of isa or jesus the account, and this is where Gnostics agree with Muslims, is that Isa or Jesus or Yeshua, which means safety, he never was crucified. He did not die. The son of Miriam slash Mary was not executed at the hands of Roman soldiers. He lived. And a doppelganger basically took his place. Here's another thing, though, that they leave out, and this isn't going to be popular, is that there's numerology even throughout the Noble Quran or the Holy Quran. And this was deciphered by Rashid Khalifa, who was a Muslim who was assassinated in Tucson, Arizona, 1990. The number that is favored by Allah is 19. 19 is a powerful number because it combines 9 with 1. And then when you break it down, it's 1. That's a sun energy. Did you know that? The number 1 meaning leader, organizer. That's a sun energy. But wait, there's more. If you read the Nakamani scriptures... Pay close attention to the Gospel of Thomas and the Gospel of Philip. The Gospel of Philip especially. Here's why. The Gospel of Philip because what you think is good is bad. And what is bad actually is good. Remember, history is always written by the winners. Period. That's who it's written by. So certain sects organizations and movements are driven underground this is the same for the gnostics so not only did they agree with the muslims that esau or yeshua was not assassinated by roman soldiers there's also something that's discussed that you don't know so here it is allah is lucifer yes that's right allah and Lucifer, Allah is another aspect. Now, what does Satan mean? Satan means adversary. What does Shaitan mean? Shaitan means opposer. Now, Allah was supposed to be the moon deity, be part of the Trinity. What does the moon deal with? The moon deals with illusions, but also esoteric knowledge. And what was Lucifer? 
Lucifer was the son. So if 19 was in the Quran and you break it down to one numerically, one, meaning Lucifer, a solar deity. And people may say, well, this is a reach. Read the Nagamati scriptures. You can read the Gospel of Thomas and you can read the Gospel of Philip and you can look through the Quran. That's all you need to do. And this is going to hurt a lot of feelings. And people say, well, Allah is perfect and it's not like that and this, that and other. Let me tell you something. And I'm going to be very forthcoming here. No matter what you profess to be, sooner or later, you're going to be put to the test. Do you know that what they won't tell you in the Middle East is that prostitution is up as well as hashish use? Do you know that what's going on here in the West with Muslims is straight chaos? And that's Middle Eastern and black. The truth was concealed for a reason. The reason that the truth was concealed. Because if you start dealing with shaitan. And there's a way to break out of that. You can break out of Al-Islam with the help of shaitan. With Lucifer. The reason that it had to be this way Because this will serve as a pipeline to magic And they can't have that Magic is still practiced in Muslim self But they know the penalty of that So Gnosticism Is very correct Because Jesus died Allegedly at 33 years of age 33 is what? That's for an ascended master Which leads for two things Either Jesus was a human being That really wasn't the son of Yahweh or he was just somebody that was coming as he said in the book of Matthew in the Bible I have not come to change Mosaic law I have come to fulfill in other words he didn't come to change anything he bided his time kind of like what Jacques Dessalines and the Knights of Templar. So short story short, Gnosticism is very connected with Al-Islam and Allah is another aspect of Lucifer. It is what it is. So with that, that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I'm the Water Alchemist. Water, my friends. Peace.